to thank you, Honourable Member, for the zero hour notice on the, the cases of uh, surgery in Delhi and conjunctivitis. Honourable uh, Minister in charge of making his clearance uh, reply. Um, although uh, it is not listed in the business, but I would like to take a few moments to uh, give my uh, remarks on the certain uh, opinions being shared. I want an assurance from the leader of the house that this road will be taken up with the appropriate authority, that is the NICP sale, and all safety measures will be taken so that it will become safety for travelers to travel who are playing this road. Thank you. Meeting, forum and language of the assembly. The business of the assembly shall be transacted in English or in Naga Assamese. It will be taken as a video guard. Who Naga is going to English going to be that the Amahan rules stay on I can ask for the information of the house and get visitors. It will do within the bound of the rules as a day. It will be more of a good idea. Amahan on our minister idea for a lot. It will Amahan Naga society though it's uh it's a growing society. Thank you, Speaker, sir. With your permission, let me say a few sentences for the awareness of all the honorable members. <laughs> and I thank my friend, Honorable Emeta Chumbimo, for initiating this important discussion. And I thank you for bringing this very relevant issue in this August House today. The speaker, sir, I believe in the discipline of work more, talk less. But today my colleague is pushing me to the corner for me to speak. So I shall speak few sentences with your permission, sir. Speaker, sir, yesterday while I was watching, WhatsApp chats. I have seen many intellectuals criticizing that Nagamis is meant only for the Konyak legislatures in this August House. And this has awoken my mind to say that the honorable members from here, from the Eastern and also from the Konyak legislatures in this August House, are first generation of the educated people and including me, because the church and the education came to my village only in the year 1965. And that also, we were taught in education as well as the Bible we were taught in our dialect. So today, if you had presided the assembly in our dialect, I think most of the Konyak Honorable MLS would have been very super fluent in the language. Sir, when you watch participating the Honorable Konyak MLS and Nagamis, I wish that those intellectuals who are participating, who are chatting in the WhatsApp group, should remember that your great grandfathers and your grandfathers were also like us today. And I know that what we are today is what they were yesterday. And so, when you, and so when any one of the intellectuals or learned mocked at us and laughed at us, they should also remember that they are laughing at their own grandfathers and great grandfathers. But today, I want to say that, and I proudly say that, the honorable member from the Konya community, Mr. Sri Baba Yemyei. He has a son as a joint commissioner, joint residential commissioner in Delhi. And also the Honorable MLA CEO John. He has a son as a doctor. So as I've said, maybe our honorable members might be speaking in Nagamis because we are of the first generation of educated people. And you speaker, sir, like my friends and seniors, Thus, let me also mumble 
few English sentences to satisfy the WhatsApp, participa WhatsApp participants. As I used to always say that I don't have any issues and I never have issues. But since our honorable member have raised the issue, this Foothill Road, it has a very long story. And I'm aware of the resolution of the House to give top priority in constructing the Foothill Road. And accordingly, we have been taking up with the framework in it. I myself and the Road and Bridges Minister, including the Woody Chief Minister, Mr. Y. Patton, we had met the Union of uh, the uh, MRT Ministry of uh, Roads. Then he had committed to us that national highway is not under him, it is with honorable parties. And therefore I have no power to declare, but what is possible from my side, I will do. And I will give pan under Dharar Mala. That is what he committed to us. I have the officials of the road and bridges uh, department also, but he could not give during the last term. Then this term also, collectively we went with Minister R.M.B. and all the officials. Then we have asked that uh, you have not given fund from the Bharat Mala and we could not uh, do this road. It is a commitment for us to make this road. So he said, this time he said, okay, in that case, we will give fund from uh, Jakti Shakti. That is one head where he said he will give. But till now, uh, nothing is given, but uh, just to tell the house that we are pursuing where it is necessary. If they say that they will not give, will not be able to fund, then we could have tried in other sources also. Or through the loan component, we can also give some funds. But because they committed, uh, the minister committed in presence of all the department and the officials. That's why this is the link. And it is regretted. I remember when I was PW minister in 1993, we got a sanction of uh, ABC in this particular room. And in one of the meeting, because Chief Minister could not go, I as the Minister, I went and attended the ADC meeting. In that, Assam, all those in favor of the motion may say aye. Aye. Those against may say no. The ayes have it, the ayes have it. The bill is passed. The resolution of Nagaland Legislative Assembly Forest Conservation <coughs> Amendment Act 2023. One, whereas the Parliament of India has enacted the first forest conservation, the forest conservation amendment Act 2023, which had been notified by the government of India the fourth top occurs to be to the tree. Two, and whereas the Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 essentially deals with land and its resources within the forest. Three, and whereas Article 
371a of the Constitution of India states, notwithstanding anything in this Constitution, no act of Parliament in respect of the religious or social practice of the Nagas, Naga customary law and processor in administration of civil and criminal justice involving decision according to Naga customary law. In ownership, in hardware, in land, and its resources shall apply to the state of Nagaland unless the legislative assembly of Nagaland by a resolution so decide. Four, in whereas the amended act has asserted a new section, namely <coughs> section 1, bracket A, bracket 2, which exempted from the operation of the principal act, such forest land suggested within a distance of 100 kilometers along international borders. Line of control or actual line of control, as the case may be proposed to be used for construction of a strategic <coughs> later project of national importance and concerning national security. Five, and whereas the above exempted area of 100 kilometers from international borders was never more, most part of Nagaland state. Six, in Wales, in Nagaland, the ownership of most of the forest lands based with tribal community. Seven, in Wales, in a consultative meeting with the various stakeholders on the subject of forest conservation amendment and equity to the tree organized by the state government on the 1st of September 2023, the representatives of the various Naka tribal for whom public organization have expressed their strong objection to the application of section 1, bracket A, bracket 2 of Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 in Nagaland on the ground that it is likely to infringe on traditional ownership and usage of the forest lands and its resources in the state of Nagaland. And in whereas this house is of the view that the term land and its resources mentioned in Article 371A include forest lands and its resources and the application of 16 one bracket A Bracket 2 of the amended Act to Nagaland would jeopardize the existing right of tribal communities on their forest lands and its resources. 9. Now, therefore, this 14th House of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly hereby resolved that the Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 will only be applicable to the estate subject to the constitutional guarantees provided in Article 371A of the Constitution of India. Then, the House further resolved that the government of India must assure the provision content in Section 1, Bracket A, Bracket 2 of the Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 shall not be used to the treatment of the state and its people. And 11, the House also resolved to exploit various options, including the state enacting, enacting its own act for the purpose of having its own compensatory mechanism where any diversion of even private or community on forest land for non forestry purposes and damage to environment is suitably compensated by the user agency. In addition to 
availment of benefits of the existing scheme of the central government and this regard. Thank you. That is a proper forum. We will discuss several things. And the Senator will go for a spot verification. <coughs> Therefore, myself as a general secretary and our I don't remember Mr. Chad and Mr. Bogutso. Three of us we went to Jamba. We took a click trick camera and I was a master of the ceremony. So I was shooting all my cameras. And when we came back and then went to the kept to the food house for the loving, it was all torn to be burned up. So I myself thought that I was such a expert and a chubby man that my own camera was burned up. Now at the location. Seven Seven will will <coughs> were located <coughs> inside Japan. <coughs> but just on the so called boundary inside a sub thirty feet away. They have stopped this. GGS, the main GGS, you call it gas preparing station, <coughs> or former animal speaker today. Minister of Education. He could understand. 
but for uh, petroleum exploring. We asked, asked some of those stories. She'll never take it. It'll be came back. Now, sir, the point I wanted to refer to today is uh, it's a wet subject because of the man's time. It is a wet subject. Now, uh, border area belt. Disturb area belt. Nagarin is such a small state, and it was only four only yesterday. We are only a little uh, uh, away from the rural society. Whereas Assam is our mother state. In all dimensions, they are far above us, far in first class. Intellectual power, economic power, and all our powers, they are far above us. And therefore, he wanted to settle the important issue with us through litigation as uh, enshrined in the Constitution of India, Article of Trade, which will never be settled. We know. 1925 map was thrown when we were illiterate. We do not know what is the map, what is the border. At that time, the map was drawn. When 1963 state was uh, come into effect, <coughs> Nagarana Assam boundary was not defined. He only referred that it was referred to the uh, state information. Mm -hmm. So there was no proper demarcation of boundary between the two states. We all know. At that point of time, I believe the mineral to be left in our land, we would not get the knowledge. But as some were already harvesting, and accordingly, whether it is a chaliha, maybe chaliha, or uh, Krishna Ram Nemiti or Kovindranath Hotel Life. The initial effect, not only as a minister. So, the far advance than we were at the point. The Pausia in the original trade center covers 167 kilometers. This, this road was declared on 24th of May 2016 when I was uh, in charge of Nishina Highways. It's almost seven years now, sir, that this road is not been taken up. This road is not just a road for connectivity. It comes through the heart of Central Nagaland. This road will be the lifeline of Central and Eastern Nagaland. This road connects Myanmar, Noglak District, Twinsang District, Moon District, Mokchong District, Connecting Assam State. This group will fulfill the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister Motisi, act as policy for infrastructure and international trade. Speaker, sir, this road is the shortest distance from Johart Airport, Assam, to Pangsha IDC Center, which is roughly about 230 kilometers. It has the shortest distance from Tuli train station to Pangsha IDC Center, 
which is roughly about 185 kilometers. Why this road is important? It is because only this road can uplift the economic status of the eastern and central part of Nakaling and Naka people in general. If this road comes to existence, it can bring the economic balance to Naka people. Mr. Speaker, sir, when I was minister in charge of National Highway, I have given a slogan to the people. Give me root, I'll give, uh, give me land, I'll give you root. Responding to my slogan, the whole stretch of Pangshan root land owners, village council, GVs had come forward to donate their land. Free of course, without any compensation. Speaker, sir, our Naka people are very simple by nature. If you knew the right formula to make them understand, you will give away everything we have. But if we fail to make them understand, you will not part with an inch of land. My formula was only give and take formula. Speaker, sir, I had the undertaking of all the landowners, village council, GBs of 28 villages from Chujemlang to Pangcha. It is countersigned by respected, respective tribal hosts, witnessed by DC and magistrate. Speaker, sir, this is the first of its kind in road seekers. For a record, I, will hand, I would like to hand over a copy of this undertaking to you. This document is still alive, sir. People have already donated their land and waiting for anxiously for this train road. The speaker, sir, that is why I want assurance from the Honorable Minister in charge. He is not here, but our Chief Minister is there. He is overall in charge. That this route is very important and it will be taken up at the earliest. Thank you. Sir.